you're more likely to want to do good if you feel good. In 2012, the Washington State Department of Corrections made a decision to start a gender responsive initiative. And that was to meet the unique needs of female offenders that female offenders have that maybe male offenders don't have. You want everyone to retain some part of their humanity. Um, over 97% of people who are incarcerated are going to leave someday. And you don't want that effect that I'm isolated from rather than I'm a part of. A gender responsive um, program manager was hired and she has led us through several initiatives throughout the department. One of which is just to look at the products that we offer on our commissary or our access. Those products that offenders can buy for themselves. And I think that's the important issue is that nothing that the department has in implemented has cost the Department of Corrections money. One thing that everybody was excited about is this tote bag. There were things that we added such as Midol, um, such as emery boards, such as bigger rubber bands for women's you know, thicker hair, those kinds of initiatives. We allowed women to buy their own bras. The department will issue standard things and we continue to do that. That has not changed. So those things that we provide the women, we make the decisions about what sizes we can offer, those kinds of things. But it's the extra things that the women can buy for themselves. More makeup, panty liners, different pads. Again, for our department, we have one size kind of fits all. Even for those, those things that are specific to women, they're a one size fit all. All we have done is to allow the offenders to buy them for themselves. I want you to think about whether it was your mother or your sister or your aunt in prison. Do you want her to feel safe? Do you want her to have small comforts? Do you want her to have come in here, the person who she was, but come out a better person? You know what I mean? And just continuing to drag somebody down by saying, oh, well, you're in prison. You don't deserve this and you don't deserve that. All you're doing is telling me is that I'm not worth it. And it's not going to help my self-esteem at all. You're, when I get out, I'm just going to think that I'm not worth anything. Minor creature comforts really add up to feeling like a part of humanity. And so when you're able to have something that's made just for with you in mind, maybe not specifically you as a person, but you as a woman or um, somebody who is different from men, then you feel like you're a part of humanity. You feel as if you're, um, the way that you exist matters. Um, women are really excited to have headbands. Women can be very self-conscious about how they look. Um, it's, it's really important to us, um, you know, society makes it important to us something that we learn from a really young age that, you know, a woman should look a certain way, you know, and those are things that are just instilled in us. So when you take those kinds of things away, um, you start to affect a woman's self-esteem. A woman who has already probably been abused, um, whether it's physically, emotionally, sexually, mentally, um, so she already feels down and out about herself in one way, and then you continue to take more things from her, um, it, it, it just hinders her self-esteem. Making some things available for people is not, um, it doesn't harm anything. It doesn't make us feel as if we got over on society. We know that we're in prison. The fact that there is razor wire and that we cannot leave this place makes it abundantly aware that we, you know, that we're in prison and that we've done something that, you know, crosses society's laws of what we're supposed to do. However, our punishment is to be here. It is not to be further punished by the way we're treated while we're here. A lot of women have actual physical scars um, and to have reminders of those if they're on your face every single day just reminds you of everything that you've um, been through every single day when you may not want to look at it, when it just may take something as simple as foundation to cover it up. And then they've made a couple pair of like definite girl sandals available. If you're going to go back out um, into the world and you're going to try to um, put together some kind of semblance of your life again, you need to feel good about yourself because until you feel good about yourself, nobody else is going to feel good about you. They're going to see it. They're going to feel it. I guess really the question is why would we not offer the women the opportunity to buy those things that makes them feel better or look better? Because what we know is that's linked to how they're going to behave, 
how they're going to act, how they're going to feel, and how they're going to prepare for the future.